Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Red War Remaster. Today, an amazing game featuring Alita and Killer from this week's Sunday stream. Figured I'd split it off into its own VOD. Enjoy it. It features Battle Cruisers. See you at the end of the match. Alright, next up, we have our RJB replay of the day at TVZ Killer and Alita. Toy Cop, it's Lita. It's your favorite Terran player. And it's Killer. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Be sure to check out our JB. He's on the YouTube just like me. Top left, it's our Terran player. It's Lita. And in the bottom left, it's a Zerg. It is Killer. We got Terry, the Overlord, moving out. As Terry does. And while he's moving out, quick plug for Falcon Paladin dot store. We got shirts. We got mugs. We got Terry the Overlord. We've got Robert the Zealot shirts here. We got his currency selector in the top right where you can choose your currency. I think it defaults to Australian dollars. And unless you're one of the four people from Australia who watch my channel, this is not for you. You want to choose like euros probably or US dollars or Canadian dollars even. That would be nice, right? Yeah, see, Euros. We got blues and yellows. We got hats. If it's cold where you are in the Southern Hemisphere, a Falcon Paladin Brood War beanie. We got the mugs. We got the Falcon Paladin Brandon mug, Robert the Zealot mug, Terror the Overlord mug, Falcon running away from emus with Somicron mug. Fun stuff. Uh, we got stickers, Falcon Paladin Brood War branded stickers here. All sorts of great stuff. Check it out. FalconPaladin.store. All right. What's going on here? Hatch first play. Fine. Four-player map. You can do it. Walling off against potential Ling pressure. Doesn't have to worry much about that because the pool just finished at three minutes. Immediately in two-layer, which Steve the SCV sees. And Steve the SCV uh, gets killed, but he saw the layer timing, and that's nice. Did I mention we have Steve the SCV shirts too? I'm not sure that we did, but we totally do. See? Steve the SCV is there. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Phil's rooting for that Terran as he do. Love the macro hatch. That is sometimes indicative that we're going to get more than the five or six mutas on the opening salvo. Probably closer to nine with that macro hatch, providing the three extra larva. We'll see if that comes into play here or not. Creep up. Tear the Overlord Scout to see if a Marine move out is happening here. And uh, Alita appears not to be doing any Wraith play yet. Two port Wraith is kind of Alita thing, but not today. Just going to be making a lot of barracks, a lot of SK Terran stuff in the future here. And trying to third hatch over here is killer. Nicely done. All right, at about 550. So like I said, more mutas than the five or six. We've already got seven of them out here with plus one uh, flyer attack. Wow, already just about done. How? No, that's a glitch. There's no way flyer attack's almost done. That makes no sense at all. Glitch. Glitch in the production tab. Mutas doing their muta harassment thing, killing a few SCVs. Nothing too, nothing too bad here, though. All right, backs it out. Yeah, see how flyer attack's been at 100% for like the last 30 seconds? It's a lie. It is like just start here. Can I do this? No. See, more mutas coming in. Killer's going for that so many mutalisk style. That's why Alita's gonna need tons of turrets. More turrets than usual. Marines with range and attack upgrades and armor upgrades. And these mutas do not want to engage at all with this marine group. Can tell you that much. But third base up and rolling. Let's see if maybe Lita can get some pressure on that third. 
As I always say, if you can take down a Zerg's third base in a game like this, you probably got them beat as a Terran player or a Protoss player. It just hurts them economically way too much for them to be able to come back from taking that kind of damage, but also getting across the map when there are a bunch of mutas flying around is hard. Yeah, Muta's giving as good as they get there. T taking some losses for sure. Dude, that plus one flyer is still stuck up there. What's up, Gallons? What's up, Nintendo and Searcher? All right, it's so gonna try to ling Muta this thing, but I don't know. It's a pretty decent sized group of plus one Marines with range and stim. I don't know about going in there. So Lita weathering the storm so far. Starport up. Control tower coming in. Science facility has got to be soon. And in fact, it is. There's your science facility coming in at eight minutes. But despite not doing a ton of damage so far with the Mutalisk opening, Killer's doing all right. There you go. That plus one finished up now. Got out of our production tab. And a lair's on the way at nine minutes. Sub nine minutes start on that lair, too. Yeah, Searcher, we started adding the visible comments a couple months ago. It's kind of nice. I think people don't have any complaints about it, really. And people do seem to appreciate it, so... Wonderful, wonderful experience for all. Yeah, full group of 11 mutas, plus one attack. Lurker aspect coming in. Valkyries being added from Lita. Valkyrie almost prepared. And there she is. Now she's prepared. Get them. Get the mutas. You can kill them all by yourself. That's not true. What? Big hits, though. Woo-wee. What's up, ghost? Yeah, Valkyrie in the mix. That's what we like to see here. This is why it's an RJB replay today. Is the Valkyrie stuff. Yeah, Mass Mute is not going to do very well against a ton of Marines with Stim 1 1 upgrades and Valkyrie support. Not going to happen. You definitely want Sunkins. You want Lurkers if you can, but that Lurker aspect is not quite done yet. Adrenal's on the way, which is nice. Mute does care. I mean, lucky they didn't take a hit from those Valkyries, though. Ooh, two Overlords for the price of one, maybe. No! Killer gets supply block. That's not a good look for him. Nah, no, 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 no. And another Overlord gonna go down, further supply blocking the Zerg. And now the third base is vulnerable to attack. Consume is not done yet. Uh oh. I like these Lings just hanging out. No, Valkyrie! Ah! The Valkyrie just died to Hydras for no reason. Lurkers, target fire, one, two. Nope, can't get the third one. The Mutas just fly right on in here and clean up house. Yeah, the Lurker did some work. And Killer holds the third. Absolutely impressive stuff. What's up, Omar Ali? Stimming in. What's up, Pharaoh's Fear? Definitely getting some Phantom in today. D Matrix Marine absorbing the Lurker hits. Kind of. Lurker down. Why are you attacking the Spore? Get the Sunk. All right. Well, I guess. Ow. The Spore. Trying to keep the Science Vessel alive is the big play there. Tons of Adrenalings with no attack upgrades and plus one armor show up. 
and the science vessel has to flee, leaving the medics to their own gruesome deaths. Another amazing hold there. Fort Killer. Wow. Yeah, sure thing, Pharaoh's Sphere. Remind me what your battle net name is again on the U.S. West. Nice adrenaline counterattack here. Again, I'd like if they had plus one attack, but we're kind of far away from that. Fire bats. Yes, the late game added fire bats. Specifically to try to handle these lings. Very, very good stuff. All right, Ferrosphere is Ferrosphere. Sounds good, dude. Richard Button is Bombarder. Cool, cool, cool name. Third base up from Leda, Leda, Leta. Isn't it Leda? I feel like it's Leda. Toy Cop knows if it's Leda. Toy Cop. Correct us on the pronunciation. Yeah, fourth base is probably needed here from Killer. He's got enough money for it, but he's also working on Burrow, Upgrades, Scourge, Nidases, Spores. I mean, really trying to solidify his third before he tries to take down a, or take a fourth here. All right, two attack on the Marines. That plus three is working its way in. Ooh, physics lab, eh? Got ourselves a little a battle cruiser follow up here for Lita. Loving that. JD Solar thinks that the Zerg has this thing won. I don't know, man. It's a supply block Zerg. He doesn't have fourth base yet. He's working on it, but will he be able to have it? Ultralist Cavern on the way. Toy Cop doesn't know how to pronounce Lita's name. That's okay. Nice irradiate and double irradiate. Almost lost a science vessel for it. Ah, poor Defiler. Trying to stack overlords on these lurkers so they can't be irradiated. Nice plague. Only caught one science vessel, though. Yeah, he's irradiating the overlords get them out of the way so we can irradiate the lurkers. Okay, how many lurkers exist here? One. Bit of a push at the front here, too. Uh, irradiates, catching defilers. Pushing in here against four sunkens with defiler and ling support. Not going to go very well. This is... Look at this, man. Lita's got a fourth base. While the fourth base is just popped from killer, he's trying to get a fifth base down here, which is very vulnerable, but the Terran player don't know about it. Ow. Plus two Marines are like, we can kill the Spore. That counts as one. Yamato's on the way. Two battle cruisers in production. A hey, bovine. Um, probably not today. No. We might get a, a mini Falcon game cast here in a bit. Entirely possible. Kitness plating on the way for the Ultralisk we saw mentioned earlier. And yeah, five bases rolling from Killer again. This fifth base should not exist. Did you just irradiate a Scourge? That's kind of a waste of irradiate. But, uh, okay. Guess that's what we're doing. Irradiating Scourge today. Oh, Scourge getting baited. Nice. Nice hit. Sick hit. Okay, super irradiates going on down here. Lurker's catching it. Defiler's catching it. Oh. I don't know where those lings were going, but a lot of them died. I guess these guys were heading up into Battle Cruiser Town. This base has bunkers at it. One of them's empty, though, so not super useful. 
And this is where the battle cruisers get plagued. I just, oh my gosh, or all the Marines get plagued. That's entirely possible too. And the science vessels got plagued. Oh boy. Uh, this is not looking great for Lita, everyone. Battle cruisers are a hundred percent getting plagued. Falcon versus bread today. No, I like bread. I don't want to fight bread. Bread is delicious. Ah, scourge. Okay, yeah. So scourge took out one of the battle cruisers before it really accomplished much of anything. Oh, ah, ooh, out. Ah, one connection, one scourge down. Fair trades, fair trades. Plague. That's the only plague you're ever going to cast, Defiler. Battle cruiser on a solo mission to try to find somewhere where he can attack. Three battle cruisers at a time being produced. Three. Ah, the ultras and the lings found the fourth base. And Alita's gonna lose this one, that's for sure. Uh, this battle cruiser's been allowed to kill both Nidus's that kind of. Sort of hugely protect. Ow, just kidding. Scourge took it down. Uh, yeah, so it's like the battle cruiser curse, man. Oh, two BCs did wander down bottom left, though. Uh, they're doing okay against these Hydras. They do not appear to have been plagued, nor is there any Dark Swarm supporting them. Whoa! Whoa! And then a bust in to the third base. The third base is dead, and the fourth base looks pretty dead, too. And there are no Nidus's to use to evacuate, and suddenly it's 160 to 113 supply. And maybe the Battle Cruiser curse is going to be broken with this game. Ay, caramba! Dude! Killer's not doing a very good job against these 15 and 13 kill BCs. Where is the plague? Oh, this group all got wiped out thanks to Ultralisk's support. Okay, so the fourth base lives. The third base is dead. Fifth base is rolling. Fourth base of Lita is... What is going on? How's it going, Christian? Oh, a Defiler Mount's knife is awesome. Dude, this is incredible. Is this kind of sort of working? Where are the plagues? Why have these battle crew? Where are the Yamatos? You researched Yamato. There it is. Yeah, take that, Spore. You shall be Yamato to death. Ah, Lings and Ultras on the counterattack, though. Yamatoing. Did he just Yamato? I hope it was an Ultra. Pretty sure it was an Ultra. Dude, this group has just been parked here inside. The Zerg base for like five minutes. And when they try to engage with the spores, that's when the Hydras come in. Man, if they had an armor upgrade, that'd be so sweet. Oh gosh. Battle cruisers, flee. Abuse the fact that you can fly. Man. Oh, little Burrow Ling shenanigans all up in here. That's annoying stuff. That's super annoying stuff. Thanks for hitting that like button, Christian. What's up, Weezer Blink? 140 to 102 supply. This might. Man, I don't know. The third base is back from Killer, the fourth base is still alive. I really don't know if the Terran player knows about this base. <laughs> I feel like he would have tried to kill it. D Matrix Battle Cruisers for the win! It's sort of working, but also not really.
Lita, Lita, Lita. It's got plus two attack on these battle cruisers. I really feel like armor upgrades would help battle cruisers a lot here, but. Okay, again, we're just kind of back. Uh, counterattack. This is how I deal with air armies when I'm Zerg, is just counterattack bases. It works, I guess. Hey, oh gosh. Science vessels going down, but this fifth base is toast. Again, I don't know if he knew about this before or not, but oh, he lost a battle cruiser to a spore. He's losing battle. Oh, science vessels to. Scourge. This is an insane game. I'm splitting this out off into its own game on the channel, RJB. Holy crap, this is good. The Zerg player is down to 50 supply, though. I, uh, I mean, the income for the Terran player is not good, but I mean, it's not like it's great for the Zerg player either right now. I guess it's a, well, effectively it's two base income, but these battle cruisers. Yeah, I think this is it. I think maybe the battle cruiser curse has been lifted. Although that ground army just got wiggity wiped, didn't it? Super wiped out. This is insane. Getting plus three attack for the battle cruisers. Nobody really has much cash at all. Jadel Solar is spamming GG in my chat. Science vessel down, irradiated lurkers. Just trying to kill something before they explode. There's not a lot here, but I mean, two bunkers full of stuff is pretty good. The Ultralist Cavern gets sniped. The fourth base is dead. The third base is rolling, but it's one base mining for the Zerg player versus one base mining for the Terran, and we know how that's going to go. Hydra Den down. Important tech is being sniped here by our for our guy, Killer. That's it. I don't think he can stand. Oh, his battle cruisers all just got plagued, though. That's what I was waiting for. A humongous multi battle cruiser plague situation. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ow! Losing one. Um, plagued again. Ow. 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 Oh my gosh. That Hydra's got two kills and it's two BCs. What a boss. What a Chad that Hydra is. But GG! Killer! Taps out at a battle cruisering leader gets the win. Oh, also did reestablish the fourth base. That helps a lot too. Dude, battle cruisers did it. They got a win against a Zerg player. This uh, it's like the second time that's ever happened on the channel. I feel like. Yeah, this is going off into its own its own standalone vod on the channel. RJB, that was absolutely sick. What's up, Vitali? Happy Sunday to you too. Wow. Wow, 202,000 points from Lita, 186 from Killer. 500 units produced for the Zerg player. 300 for the Terran. Uh, these numbers kind of make sense. Structures raised, 35 by the Terran player. Okay, that's insane. 35 buildings raised by the Terran and only six by the Zerg is a crazy number. And then outspending the Terran player by about 10,000 resources in 25 minutes usually works, but not when the battle cruisers are awesome. That was fantastic. Wow. All right. So GG there. Absolutely fantastic display of how to use battle cruisers. I guess you can give notes to everyone else. And that's going to be it from me. This has been Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of Starcraft Red War Remastered. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me at Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And also here every Sunday for the Sunday stream at 11 a.m. Eastern in the United States. So again, thanks for watching. Until next time, as always, you take care of yourself.